let's talk about repulsion type moving iron instrument. Let us take an electromagnet. Now two rectangular pieces of iron strip are placed side by side near to the electromagnet as shown here. Now due to magnetic induction, both of the iron pieces achieve similar magnetic properties in them. North pole and south pole are induced at similar ends of the iron pieces. If this pole of that iron piece becomes north pole, then this end of second iron piece also becomes north pole. Similarly, this end of both iron pieces becomes south pole and due to the similarity, both of them will repel each other. The force of repulsion depends upon the strength of electromagnet because this electromagnet causes induction in the iron pieces. If now polarity of electromagnet alters, means the direction of current in the coil alters, south poles will be induced in this end of both iron pieces. Although in this case, polarity alters, but still there is repulsion force acting on them because of nearby similar poles. Hence it can be concluded that the direction of the force between the iron pieces are not changed due to change in direction of current in the coil. Now, if we make this iron piece fixed in respect to the position of the coil and we make this iron piece free to move, then movement of the moving iron piece can indicate the quantity of the current in the coil if we can calibrate this movement properly in ampere scale. Now, if we attach one end of moving iron piece with a hinge and fix a long pointer on with this piece, the movement of the iron piece becomes rotational. If a circular scale is attached below the tip of pointer, then the tip moves along the circular scale to give reading of the current flowing through the coil. This movement of pointer tip on the scale depends upon quantity of the current through the coil not on the direction of the current. Hence, this measuring system can be utilized to measure both AC and DC. The measuring instruments using this technique to measure electrical quantities are called repulsion type moving iron instruments. Repulsion type moving iron instruments are mainly used for the measurement of alternating currents and voltages though it can also be used for DC measurements. Now we will talk about actual forms of repulsion type moving iron instrument. In actual construction, a hollow circular coil is used and one of the iron pieces is attached inside the hollow coil. The other moving iron piece or moving vein is attached to the shaft. Controlling spring and pointer is also connected with the shaft. As both veins are placed in the same magnetic field, they are magnetized with the same polarity. Hence, the defecting torque is produced due to the force of repulsion between two iron pieces or veins. If these two iron pieces develop pole strength of M1 and M2 respectively, then instantaneous deflecting torque F is proportional to M1 into M2, which again is proportional to H square, where H is the field strength. If the permeability of iron is assumed constant, then H proportional to I, where I is a coil current, the instantaneous deflecting torque F is being proportional I square. Average deflecting torque T suffix D proportional to mean of I square over a cycle. Since the instrument is spring controlled, T suffix C is proportional to theta, where theta is the angle of deflection of the moving piece. In the steady position of deflection, T suffix D equals to T suffix C. So, theta proportional mean of I square over a cycle. Thus, the deflection is proportional to the square of the coil current. As the angular displacement of the moving system of the meter is proportional to square of the current to be measured, it is proved that the instrument can be used for both AC and DC. 
I hope you understood this also. Thank you.